so lecture we will see some of the dyer problems so, so i have taken the pump test book only so so this is one type of example so we need to find what is high here so first we should know is this diode is on or off so what is the condition or uh, what is the method we need to use short circuit method so short circuit method is the first assumption is assume that diode is in on or forward bias so that means it will behave as a short circuit so suppose this is short circuit so the circuit will behave like this simply short circuit this is 1 kilo ohm this is 10 volts and now i can easily find what is i so i is equal to simply 10 by 1 kilo so it is 10 milliampere is current flowing now so whatever i assumed that the current should flow from the anode to cathode or positive to negative so whatever we assume that is correct only now that means i is equal to 10 milliampere right now what is this voltage across this diode if, we, if they ask how to find is see this is 1 kilo so what we got 10 milliampere so so what is this voltage across this diode uh, this resistor is 1 kilo into 10 milliampere it's approximately 10 volts right so the remaining voltage will be across this so it is approximately 0 volt right so that is how we will find the voltage here right so this current is what the 10 milliampere so across this there is a 10 volts drop will be there because 10 milliampere is current flowing so the ideally the v will be zero so and it is short circuit right now if you come for this circuit same circuit but the diode is reverse uh, in just reverse the diode now same assumption if i assume i is flowing from 10 volt to ground so I can need so short circuit means what so it will be 1 kilo ohm and short circuit so the current is flowing from I is equal to 10 volt by 1 kilo which is 10 milliampere so this is 10 volts see I is flowing from top to bottom that means from negative to positive the current is flowing but it should flow always from the positive to negative so whatever we assume that is wrong so that means the diode is the diode is reverse bias so we should get always positive from anode to cathode but we are getting from higher that is 10 volt to ground so that is opposite of the diode that is from cathode to anode is current flowing so whatever we assume that is wrong so it is in reverse bias so if they ask what is the voltage here so whenever the diode is reverse bias that is off off means open circuit so open circuit is like this so 1 kilo ohm this is 10 volts this is open circuit so here v is equal to there is no current here so directly v is equal to 10 volts so 10 volts means see if you see this uh, circuit so 10 volt is connected to negative terminal of the diode so that's why it is in reverse bias because positive terminal is connected to zero so zero is less than the 10 volts so anode voltage is less than the cathode voltage so it is in reverse bias